in this video, I'm going to be sharing with you the best way to defend U trips in Madden 23. We're going to be in the dollar 3-2 defense. This can be found in the 46 defensive playbook. And what makes dollar so good, specifically against U trips, is its ability to adapt in and out to what the formation is trying to do. And through some strategic ways to align our defense, we're going to be able to jam and bump and reroute receivers that is going to make it significantly more difficult to get some of the best routes in the formation open. All right, guys. So if you want to get my entire dollar defensive ebook, make sure that you join the Patreon. It's only $10 to become a member. We've dropped three or four different versions of this defense over the last uh, couple of months. And I've been really updating this a lot um, over the last couple of weeks. And we're going to be dropping a brand new revamped version of dollar uh, over the course of the next few weeks as well. So make sure that you're in the Patreon. It's only $10 to do so. And it gets you access to literally everything over there. Okay, so how do we stop U-trips? Um, it's actually a relatively fair question. Um, U-trips is really a, a weird formation. Um, I can't really figure out any other way to put it. It's a weird formation. There's a lot of things. Um, there's a lot of things that people can do with this. There's uh, the run game's not super great, uh, but really like Pat slot out, curl flat, halfback sluggo, um, and then some of the things you can do with a solo wide receiver uh, really makes this formation difficult to guard. Um, but I'm going to show you something you can do today with relatively few adjustments that is going to be really, really good for this formation. So DB Fire 2 is the play. Coaching adjustments real quick. We are going to have our zone coverage set to match. It's really the only thing that we need to do uh, when defending U trips because of the way the formation works, we can actually scream at it relatively easy. So um, what I like to do when I defend U trips, I don't really, I, don't, I really like to blitz I only like to send four against U trips, honestly. Um, I don't feel like, I feel like sending four is the best way to defend it. If you want to send five, um, so real quick, like if you base on impress, you're going to have this right here. This is okay, but the pro there's a couple problems. So number one, yes, the blitz is good, okay? The problem with this is what you're about to see on the right side of the screen. So if I run it like this, now that soft squat can't really jam or reroute or match, and, and I can throw that fade on the right side of the field. So if I just block my running back, and I'll show you uh, a pass pro. So like, let's say I block my running back, I ID here, you know, or whatever. And, and defensively, what you do is you baseline and press. Typically, like again, something as simple as this route combo right here, if I have a second, I have a chance to make a home run play or a house call to the right side. Because if you, we want to punish them, if you will, for being in a spread out alignment, okay? So what I like to do against U-trips is I really like to base align press. I'm gonna move this guy just a step and then show blitz. And what you see when you show blitz here on the right side is they come back in as if they were in a man alignment, okay? Now what you get is you're gonna get the best of both worlds. You're going to get your safeties in the box and you're still going to get that double edge pressure that is super, super effective. Now, like I said, against U-trips, typically speaking, I like to send four um, defensively. So if I'm in a baseline press, and let me let me rephrase coach. Let me show you, you can do it right out of, the, out of the coaching adjustments as well to save yourself a step. So we're just gonna come out in base alignment and all we're gonna do is we're gonna press, we're gonna click over here, move this guy, and then and then we're gonna show blitz, and you'll get this alignment right here. I think this is the best alignment for you trips because you can send pressure off of both edges. You'll see right here. I mean, the pressure is super fast, okay? Now, if you wanna save yourself a step, just show blitz, call it good, okay? If you wanna just save yourself a step, don't have to manually move anybody, show blitz and call it good, you'll still get really good pressure, okay? It just isn't as good. Okay, so press, move this guy, show blitz. Now, coverage adjustments, we'll make it super simple. What I like to do is we're gonna put a cloud flat over here on the right side of the screen. The reason we wanna put this cloud flat over here is because what you're gonna notice 
is it is going to bump the crap out of that player on the right and you see the pressures coming in and now that throw on the right side is significantly more difficult than it previously was so again press just move this guy show blitz cloud flat there and then you're going to stand about right here now again let's say okay so if they don't send the running back out they're going to try to give themselves some time to throw this bomb but what you'll see here is that reroute puts that guy in the out he puts him out of bounds at times and it makes that throw significantly 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 more difficult now the next adjustment that i like to do with this is we're going to vert hook this right of screen player and then this backside player is kind of a essentially a utility player a lot of things you could do with this guy here uh, but basically i'm just going to get him out of the vert hook so again just put him in anything and so what will happen is they'll go to a play uh, typically to try to beat cover two so a good cover two beater would be something like this halfback sluggo where they take this guy maybe they block him for protection and then they're going to you know try to basically bomb you over the top again when we're going to get this reroute here on the right and then what you should see is this vertical hook is going to match this all the way up the field and you're going to be able to take away that route so by putting a vertical hook out there without a mid read he's going to va match the vertical stems of routes which is really helpful so again press just wiggle him just a second show blitz i like to put that guy in a vertical hook if I want to send five, you can leave this get this vertical hook right here. If I am putting this guy in a vertical hook, what then you want to do here is I like to bracket the tight end. So I'll man up the tight end, take that completely away. Because another thing that's popular is to get something like this right here. This setup right here, relatively popular. If you man that tight end up, they can't throw that. They can't, they can't hit you with that concept. So those are the main plays that a lot of you're going to see a lot out of U trips. Another popular play uh, is this curl flat, where they're going to basically motion this guy across on a corner route. You don't get this as much, but basically, if you do get this, a stock cloud on the left side plays this fairly well. And really, what I like to do, um, you know, again, we're going to press, show blitz, um, you can just cloud flat both corners and then typically you know maybe man up over there on the left and then on the right side i like to keep the half because there's too many threats over there on the right but anyways let's say they run something like curl flat i'm going to block my running back for protection we always want to send four but what you'll see here is now you can go help over here and also the stock cloud flat is going to take that completely away so you're pretty good on the sideline. Stock cloud flats really do a good job against U trips. They really do. Um, just a simple stock cloud. Uh, it does really pretty good on both sides. And then if you wanted to man up here, here, and then maybe let's say, you know, again, let's say you want to take the tight end away. And what I would do on that right side is put that vert hook. Trust that vert hook to match um and he will or you can just man him up send four this is a really good u trips defense because they have to block the running back if they don't they're going to get screamed at and there's not a lot that they're going to have super tight windows with your user over the middle of the field it's going to make things super super difficult so these are some of the best tips that i have for shutting down the u trips offense if you guys want to get my entire dollar three two defensive ebook e make sure that you join the patreon that's where you'll get access to all of the ebooks as well as all of the updates to those ebooks and any new ebooks that we release while you are a member so make sure to sign up for the patreon you can do so by heading down to the description and clicking the link down below